Hello my friends, it's Lindsay with Emeralds and Fairy Lights and I'm here today for a post review on Tropical Dreams by Dominic Davison. <laughs> so here is the reveal of the canvas. It's funny turning it over because you can basically see it um, <laughs> in the camera, but this is what it looks like finished and it is just beautiful. Um, it's really big, so it's hard to get it in the full frame, um, but I think I can mostly get it all in this frame. So, um, this, like I said, is called Tropical Dreams, and it's done by Dominic Davison. It is an 80 by 60 centimeter, and this comes from Dreamer Designs. There were 58 colors and 76,800 diamonds in this kit i guess that then make up this painting so um as far as my thoughts go on this one i just really enjoyed this diamond painting um there i i don't have really much to say in the negative if i want to be completely honest um there were a few issues that I ran into, um, but for the most part, um, I had said I thought maybe some of the symbols down here were go would be hard to distinguish. I didn't have any problems distinguishing any of the drills, like of the drill symbols. Um, they were all clear. I can give you a view of them right here. So they were all quite clear, easy to see, <laughs> at least for me. I didn't have any issues there. Um, I had plenty of drills and I did have very little trash um, and plenty of leftover drills. Now, one of the things that I think that Dreamer Designs does really well, that is their ABs. I'll be honest, I do think some other companies can be a little bit stingy with their um, with their ABs. But I do think it does depend on personal taste on how much you like the extra sparkle in your paintings. So definitely that is a factor. Um, but I do think that Dreamer Designs is a company that does usually go pretty liberal as far as what they give you. Um, I did not actually add um, barely anything to this kit. Um, I added a few orange ABs down here. It was just, I just did the equivalent color in ABs and then, um, I continued it up here. I just added some orange and that's all just because I wanted a little extra orange to shine. And, um, but as far as where their ABs are, they do have this red that's in the flowers, more red in the flowers and there's red up the flowers in here um if you can tell in the sky this is just there's lots of ab's in the sky and then the sun that's setting has ab's down to this flower um there's ab's again in the flowers over here in the pot and then i think that my favorite is this green that is throughout the trees and if you could tell it just makes it like shimmer so much more um this this palm tree too and um so i definitely think that the ab is like enhanced and um not much was really needed to add to these like you i could have put more in but i liked that I liked how it was. In fact, I did actually try to replace some of these pink ones with ABs and you know what, they kind of took away from the image. So um, be just because of the, the how they kind of took the color away, um, I think that's why these orange ABs work is because you still get basically the color underneath. Um, as far as just um, the stickiness goes, I, I didn't have any problems. The canvas was very sticky. And um, one of the things that I really, that I think is different about Dreamer Designs charting um, versus other companies, one thing that I think is very unique to them is that they tend to do lines um, 
you know, when, when you look at this chair, you can kind of tell how they, I, I, I guess what, what I think is, is that they tend to, instead of doing confetti, they do lines. So in a picture like this, where you've got the deck that has these straight lines, you've got these rotten chairs that I think they're rotten. I don't know. You could tell me if I'm wrong, but how that kind of lends itself to this pattern. And then especially in these palm trees, how the, they look like they're flowing like actual palm trees because you can see like where their individual like leaves or their fronds would be. And um, so I think that that style in the drapes, it lends itself really well in um, these straight kind of lines, especially two in the water. It's definitely a different style of rendering. Um, and But in this kind of picture, I think it worked great. And I love that, you know, these, these lines were individually accented by green ABs. Um, the one issue that I ran into on this painting is that even though these edges are um beveled and they you know they're sewn with an edge they were just coming off like crazy and there's like you can see one just hanging right there these little threads and because this was basically around the entire canvas um especially right here i don't know can you see that up here on the top, I was having a really hard time with these strings coming off and actually getting on the glue and in the painting. And I kept having to um, basically pull them off and um, like, <laughs> you know, just, just pull them out. And But the problem is, is they stick the glue and so then they were really difficult to get out of the painting. So that was like the one thing that I thought was really um, not great. And I don't, I don't know what you do differently because I'm not like a fabric specialist, but the way that these are cut, can you see that? Does that, it doesn't look very secure to me. And it's going to have all of these fraying come off. And, you know, I, it's not like I'm, I'm overly hard with the canvas or anything. It's just that um, the natural moving of the canvas, it seems like all the images are frayed um, as I move the canvas to work around it. Um, the one change that I did make to this was there was a cat right here in the painting. I'll show you the image. So you can kind of see the cat there. The cat is really cute in the photo image. So I guess this is this is the image. You can see the Dreamer Designs <laughs> watermark on it. But I do think they did a very good job rendering it in my in my opinion. And um, but this cat. Unfortunately, it was pointed out that it didn't render very well and some people kind of thought that it looked, it just didn't look right um, in the diamond painting. And so that was actually a very easy fix. Um, I just, the cat was mostly on the rug and then came up in on the deck part. So I just basically filled this whole thing in with blue. Now you can kind of see in the underneath, you can see where the cat was, kind of. But it's actually also, if you didn't know that was a cat, you wouldn't know that that was a cat that was missing. And it would just maybe look like there's light coming through. So I really don't think that anybody would notice that um, unless they knew what they were looking for. <laughs> so I just, Really, I do really like this for summer. I'm just moving it so you can see that shimmer because it's so pretty. And I really do just love this one. Um, this was one of their new releases that they did um, while they were putting new releases out on Fridays. And 
um, it is just really, it's really beautiful. And so I have to say like, good job Dreamer Designs. And um, it, it makes me want to work on more of their, um, maybe their landscaping to see if they're also as well, um, especially the Dominique Davison's. Now I do have to say that I should have said this first off, that this is a round diamond painting. So that was one of the things that actually just sold me on this painting right away was that it is a Dominic Davison landscape in rounds from Dreamer Designs. And that is very rare, most are square. This one is round and I don't think that it 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 does anything to diminish the 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 canvas as far as the quality of of the the painting. And um, if you guys have followed my channel at all, you know that I do prefer rounds. And so that I think was another bonus. So um, I am going to leave it there, but I would love if you would like and subscribe and um, let me know what you think down in the comments. I will see you guys in another video. Bye.